students, welcome to class. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Whether you've been vegan for a lifetime or just a minute, welcome to the club. We're so glad you're in it. Up to thank you for your compassion and for allowing your heart to open up. Thanks for putting veggie juice, stuff to see in your shopping cart. Peace begins on your plate, so please open up your heart. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. If it's your vegan declaration day, write it on the fridge. Don't forget to make sure that you don't forget it because it kind of creeps up on you. But guess what today is also? My birthday. Today I am 57 years old. I know. I look good for my age, don't I? <laughs> Which is so funny because I used to always, people would always used to say, oh, you look so young for your age. But then when I started hanging out with all these 10-year-olds, they're like, you look so old. How old are you, 100? <laughs> like, no, not yet. Anyway, um, I have a grandmother who lived to be 101. So it's possible that I live a long time. So you guys might be really stuck with me. But on the other hand, you know, vegans get sick just like anybody else. So it's possible that, you know, I could I could die tomorrow. Who knows? That's why we have to appreciate every moment of our life. And on my birthday today, I'm giving myself a treat. And you know what it is? I'm going to watch my favorite movie. And you guys are going to watch it with me. Look at this. It's super short. Look, it's uh, 1 minute and 40. Is it 5 seconds? 1 minute and 45 seconds. Look, watch this movie. It's so wonderful. It's about this woman who, at the beginning, she's not vegan, and then she's vegan at the end, and it's so inspiring, and it just makes me happy. So that's my birthday present to myself. And if you want, guys want to give me a birthday present, you know what it is? Can you guess what I want from you guys? I want you to stop hurting animals. I really do. Stop hurting them, please. Stop buying them. Stop wearing them. Stop using them. Be kind to the animals. All right, let's watch this together. So it's January 1st, 2016. It's the same year that I became vegan. So this is what I find so cool about this is as she's going through this, like I didn't realize they were making this video. I was going through the same thing because I became vegan on June 27th, 2016. Now she took a whole year to get her clicks, but you know, I was already vegetarian before that. And honestly, I should have been vegan way longer before that. But anyway, so here she is. And first she's like, all grouchy like all of you are who are just watching for the first time are like oh who's that vegan teacher I hate her <laughs> but this is how it happens it's normal yeah you, you hate vegans at first because you're just like oh I don't want they make me feel bad I don't want to think about the animals I just want to keep eating and and just be unconscious in my life but you know here we are always knocking at your door hello would you like to be vegan <laughs> we're just pestering you and here's some vegans in the street now they're minding their own business in a way they're just standing there handing out flyers and uh, anyway she takes one and puts it in her pocket be watch watch Every day. Go Over vegan here. today. You can save over a hundred animals per year. And look at that. Oh, she's just like, oh, those damn vegans. I'm not. She doesn't even look at it. She just crumples it up, put it. That's what I love about this video because it's so representative of you guys. It's exactly what you guys are like. Oh, look at my comment section, full of so much mean stuff. Even on my birthday, like, oh, I wish you'd never been born. Just read down there. Just read the comments. Oh, I hope you die soon. Like, it, you guys are so mean we are just here trying to protect the animals trying to save them anyway hey how can you tell someone's vegan no oh. don't worry they'll tell you oh. <laughs> okay same joke all the time how can you tell someone's vegan don't worry they'll tell you ha oh. like we've heard that joke a million times and there they are telling it right because yeah of course we're gonna tell you not because we think we're better than everyone else because we are tired of you thinking that you are better than everyone else stop hurting the animals I'm straighten my shirt here Happy Vegan Declaration Day, yes. By the way, you know, rem remember, your, your Vegan Declaration Day is any day of the year. There's not one particular day, right? Mine, like I said, happens to be June 27th, 2016. And, uh, but yours could be today. It could be September 24th. Imagine that. Imagine if your Vegan Declaration Day was on that vegan teacher's birthday. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Come on, everybody. Don't say yes all at once. <laughs> Ah, you guys. All right, let's continue. She's just so annoying. I'll have the burger, medium rare. Did you guys? She's like, oh yeah, vegans are so annoying. I'm gonna press the, I can press the letter J on my laptop. That goes back 10 seconds. Animals per year. 
Hey, how can you tell someone's vegan? No. Oh. Don't worry. I'll tell you. Oh. <laughs> That's so annoying. I'll have the burger medium rare. Hey, Mom. So, I'll have the burger medium rare. So, she has the burger. Just like all of you guys, she's eating a meat burger at the beginning. She's talking to her mom just like normally. Just, you know, like, like, like good daughters call their moms. What's going on? Just doing regular stuff, they're showing her texting, driving to work, and now she's at a barbecue. And that, unfortunately, is not vegan meat. Not yet, but wait till the end of the movie. I know, I'm a real a spoiler alert. She becomes vegan at the end. Keep watching though, it makes you happy. Well, it makes me happy. So I hope it makes you happy. It smells good. All right. Okay, this is exactly what happened to me. I was on Facebook around the same time and I was looking and I saw this 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 footage of what goes on in these factory farms and I was so horrified and so sad. I was like, started crying, watching what they're doing to the baby chicks and to the lambs, all these different animals. Uh, it was so sad. At the same time, I would see happy animals like these little baby goats in pajamas and things like that. And it was like messing with my head. And anyway, I, I knew it. I knew I was getting my clicks. I was getting my 100 clicks slowly but surely. Okay, you see? See that? She's eating a burger. She's eating an animal. And look who's beside her. Right? Click! Right? So she's doing some research. She's also understanding, she's feeling within her heart right now. She's like, she's all in that. It's called cognitive dissonance, that time where you're just like, you haven't quite made the link. You're just in that place where you're, okay, um, I'm a good person, but like, wait, I'm sort of eating these animals, but I'm still a good person. And so it's like, you know, you're, you're all mixed up. But I, I love this video so much. It's so good. And look, it's March now. So it's been already a couple of months, right? People don't become vegan like that. Unless you are really in tune and you've already got some clicks behind you, but really it takes about a hundred clicks to become vegan. You got to get it in your head. You have to feel it with your heart. And then you're, there's this one time where you just like, you start to realize, okay, I'm cutting things out. If someone asks you if you're vegan, you'll say no, but you'll, you'll be like, okay, well, why are you buying soy milk? Mm, I don't know. Okay, well, how come you're trying a Beyond Burger? Eh, I don't feel like it. Because you're just like experimenting and you're not there yet. It's, it's fascinating, the journey. Dude, they were out like See, are humans supposed to eat meat, right? You don't have to eat meat to be healthy. No. You just need the right proteins, minerals, and vitamins. But it doesn't matter where they come from. I mean, look, cows are healthy, and they never eat any animals, right? Elephants, giraffes, bison, big animals. You can be vegan. Slaughtering animals and, like, eating them and blood. There she's talking to a friend who also had been seeing something. So she could see on her face she's getting another click. Do animals have souls? Do we even have a soul? I mean, that's a whole other question, but the point is she's looking, she's curious. And that's what you guys should do, be curious. Especially look around this channel, by the way. There are so many videos on this channel about everything. Everything, imagine all the foods, the vegan athletes, people that are pretending to be vegan that aren't, and terrible animal abusers like Gordon Ramsay, that chef there who keeps, who keeps making all of these recipes with, with dead flesh when he could so easily make everything vegan. Ugh, anyway. Animal sanctuaries near me. Yeah. Oh my God. Can you imagine people eat animals? I can't. I just, I can't even. It's been so long now that I've been vegan. Like, I just can't even imagine. Hi there. I actually didn't think pigs got this big. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's the part that just gets me every time. When she says to the cow, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I'm going to start crying. Okay, I don't want to cry because it's my birthday, but oh, this video is just so great. She's sorry. So am I. Oh my god, I can't believe I used to pay people to eat, to hurt these animals. Do you know how much guilt I have? So, so guilty. All the chickens, buckets of chicken wings that I used to buy for my kids. Oh my God, I remember one time we ordered like 60 wings. Like how many birds died because of us? Each bird has two wings. And we did it many times. Oh my God. I'm so, so sorry to, for the, oh my God. That's why I'm here. I just want everybody to have their vegan declaration day. Okay, today. Let it be today, September 24th, 2021. If you're not sure, fuck it, just do it anyway.
Okay, just plunge right in there. Just declare it today. Write it down in the comments. I declare this to be my vegan declaration day, September 24th, 2021. You can do it. And if you're watching this video in the future, well, that's the day that will be yours, okay? It can be the day that you are ready. You want that vegan? Yeah. What do you, see that? Do you want that vegan? Oh, I love that part too, because the server is asking, do you want that vegan? See, not many servers will do that. They'll just be like, they'll just take your order. But see, this server maybe is vegan. It's like, hey, would you like the vegan version of that? And she's like, oh, okay. Right? So if you're working in a restaurant and you know that there are vegan options, always offer them to people because people don't think about it. Yeah. And look at her friend's face like, what? Are you vegan now? She's like, I don't know, maybe. I've practically memorized this whole video. Let's go back. I love this video so much. I actually didn't think pigs got this big. Oh, I'm so sorry. You want that vegan? Yeah. What are you, vegan now? I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe. God, it's so realistic. Whoever made this video is a genius. I mean, it's exactly, they observed the, the passage. They observed the journey to getting there. It's so, it comes in such little steps. Baby steps, 100 clicks. You know, it's funny, I did a video about Sniper Wolf, Wolf and I told her about, I said, you gotta get your 100 clicks and she really didn't understand at all. She thought it meant 100 people have to press like on her poster, I don't know, she thought it was a click on a keyboard, which is not, of course. Anyway. Um, Cowspiracy, now she's watching Cowspiracy. It's one of the documentaries I tell you guys to watch, Cowspiracy, Seaspiracy. Right, to find out what happens to the animals on, and for you get all the different facts there about how it's terrible for the environment and how much suffering they go through you have to watch the documentaries i know what you're thinking oh i already know all that stuff but you don't you don't and don't watch it with a bunch of friends and try to make fun of it and ridicule it i had a bunch of teenage boys who said that they watched uh, they were watching dominion movement because i told them to and they're like oh this is a funny video it's not funny, and they were just a bunch of idiots all together in a room just like determined to not pay attention. They talked over the whole script, and they also blanked out and didn't watch the, the parts where you have to, you have to force yourself to watch that at first, what goes on with the animals, how they're treated. I mean, these teenage boys were like, yeah, we watched Dominion, it was fine, it's no big deal. You didn't watch it, you didn't actually watch it. If you don't watch it ready, with your heart open and your mind open, and you can pause it often, it's called watchdominion.com, go and see it, watchdominion.com, or Cowspiracy, that's an easy one to remember, it's so important, and I don't know if it's still free or not, but just pay for it, okay, it's really worth it, I mean, these filmmakers, you know, they, they put all this effort into these videos, just not going to eat meat or dairy anymore, just not going to eat meat or dairy anymore, mm -mm 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 -mm. that's so great, that's so great, Best vegan what? Best vegan recipes, yes! Google best vegan recipes, of course. You, I mean, just, it's, there's thousands and thousands of them. I, I mentioned that once in a while this channel called Bosch.tv, but there's so, so many. Even in the link down below in my description, you will see there are other vegan chefs there that I talk about. One is called Avant Garde Vegan. One is called Rainbow Plant Life. This, one's a guy, one's a, a woman, and they're, they're just, both, you know, ethical vegans. Go and go and check them out. Still looks like me. When it's August now. Still looks like me. And now September. I looked into that cow's eyes. There was someone staring back at me. Of course, there was someone staring back at you. Cows are sentient beings. The same way that cats are. The same way that dogs are. Of course, they're gonna look at you. I love this video. Just not gonna eat meat or dairy anymore. It still looks like meat. When I looked into that cow's eyes, there was someone staring back at me. It's vegan. Shut up. Yeah? Dude, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I'm gonna have the black bean burger, all the Swiss. Is your mayo vegan? Okay, I'll have that. Yes, she's asking for vegan mayo in the restaurant. It's so perfect. That's what you gotta do. Because you know, they get there in the restaurants, they get these giant things 
of uh, mayo. And they come from these companies. But if you keep asking and keep asking and say, we want vegan mayo at this restaurant. Only vegan mayo. Because if you get only vegan mayo, everyone can eat it. Because the other kind of mayo has eggs in it. Right? And you know what they do in the industry? They crush these baby boy chicks. It's just one day old because they'll never be able to lay eggs. Or they put them in these giant bags and they suffocate them with their brothers. All It is absolutely heartbreaking. What, they, what we do to animals is just unconscionable. And it's everywhere around the world. Somehow we got into this and we don't have to. I mean, look, we can get people to the moon. We can get a car up in outer space. Like We can figure out how to grow plants here on the planet that will feed everyone. And it's also so inefficient to put our plants into these animals and then eat the animals after. It doesn't make any sense. Better off to eat the plants directly rather than filtering them through animals. And these people, you guys who say, well, well, you know, the, the animals are gonna take over the world if we don't eat them. That's crazy because we create billions and billions of chickens, cows, pigs, lambs, turkeys, all of these animals. We create them, we force them to breed. It is so wrong what we do. We need to leave these billions of animals every year I'm talking. I don't know if you can picture a billion. It's really hard to picture, but if you include sea life, trillions, trillions of animals that shouldn't have to die. So it's better that we just don't create them to begin with. Leave nature alone. You know, leave all the animals alone in nature. Separate ourselves so that they can do their thing. We don't hurt them. That's it. We grow crops. Okay, lentils, beans, chickpeas. Oh yeah, where's my list? Look, look, these are just a bunch of things that I just threw down. These are whole foods that I eat. Um, these are regular things that I eat. And, and the list could be much, much longer. Look, you can eat lentils, chickpeas, brown rice, oats, peanut butter, or you know, almond butter, any kind of nut butter. Kale, so good. But get yourself some, some um, cruciferous vegetables, which are like the, the leafy green ones, but it's also broccoli. So, But look it up. You can go to an app called Daily Dozen. The Daily Dozen app by Dr. Gregor. You put that in your phone, and every time you eat something, you press, you press the button, and it goes ping, and then you you know, you know you keep track of it, make sure that you're healthy. Okay, spinach, bok choy, bananas, blueberries, dates, tahini, walnuts, carrots, mushrooms, potatoes, tomatoes, avocado, garlic, and don't forget chia seeds every day, and flax seeds. I just had some in my oatmeal. I had those. I had dates. I had um, steel-cut oats today, and I had uh, some soy milk in there, and all different kinds of nuts, and different kinds of seeds, hemp seeds, and pumpkin seeds, like just a ton of stuff in there. M mashed up banana, like I had about 15 different vegan foods in, just in my oatmeal alone today. Anyway, let's watch some more. So it's December. It's December. It's been a year. Oh my God. Uh, yeah? This, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Ooh, I'm gonna have the black bean burger, Elvis Swiss. Is your mayo vegan? Okay, I'll have that. It's your mom on the phone. Oh, sorry. I, I haven't seen it yet, but I already know that. That's awesome. Way to go, mom. So her mom says that she's going to be vegan. I mean, this is everyone's dream is that your whole family becomes vegan, right? And this is one of the saddest things when people become vegan. They realize a lot of their family members don't become vegan with them, and it's so hard. Hey, you can save over 100 animals every year in the environment. Go vegan. movie ever best movie ever oh my god this is such a great birthday you guys thank you so much for being here on this channel with me by the way those of you who followed me from tiktok those of you who have newly discovered me um i'm gonna start crying now okay don't cry okay coming up you're gonna see a bunch of videos click on them be curious Subscribe, press the notification bell, and help me get these animals out of hell. And thank you to all of you who are kind to me. I really do appreciate it.